With about $100 million already disbursed for the reconstruction of the National Theatre Igomu, Lagos, the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Mr. Gordon Emefile, has disclosed that the project will require more funds from the uh, body of bank chief executive officers and CBN, also known as the Bankers Committee. Expressing the light at the level of work going on at the edifice, uh, Mr. Emefile noted that it is going to be business where the monies will be realized again. Addressing journalists during an inspection tour on the project of what well, the progress of work at the National Theatre, the Apex Bank Governor explains that the project, which will be commissioned in November, is aimed at repositioning the country's entertainment sector and provide space for youth to thrive through the creative industry. We are doing a total rejuvenation of Lagos State by really redeveloping this masterpiece right at the center, at the center of Lagos that will be linked with the rails and all that to make sure this works. For avoidance of doubt, this project is costing the Bankers Committee, by, by our last estimate, about $100 million. And I must, I must say that, yes, $100 million is about $100 million or more will be invested in this project, but it is going to be business. Business where the monies will be realized again. And I'm happy that Foreign investors are already showing interest, and I want to place it on record that we, are, we have received inquiries even from the United States from investors who have said that they are interested in taking a, taking a look at not just the National Arts Theatre, but also the creative opportunities that, are, that, is being, that, that we are developing um, uh, around here. Really grateful. You know, we're grateful to Mr. President, you know, who is a lead visionary, you know, and who had said, you know, I'm always very passionate, you know, about, about, you know, the creative industry, the youth, and let's do something. And so what all of this is about is still about creating that enabling environment. This whole project will not, will not do everything. You know, there's still going to be a whole lot more in the years ahead that people still need to do. But we're breaking all the barriers, we're breaking all of the challenges that we have, you know, and we're writing, you know, um, this industry, this sector, we're writing their names in gold. We are still very hopeful that we are going to, the, national, the, 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 the new National Theatre will host the global conference of United Nations World Trade Organization sometimes in November this year and also some other global events. Uh, from what you see, you would not appreciate half of what has gone on. I think we have crossed the Rubicon, and uh, by the time we come back in say, two months' time, uh, we will all see that a lot of work has been buried under. Once again, I want